I will show you how to do a single column tie, in other words to tie a single limb, using the knot called Somerville ball line. Sometimes people call the ball line a sailor's knot, which is different, don't confuse them. The Somerville ball line is a very strong knot that doesn't collapse. It is very reliable, it's very compact and it's easy to make. You could use it for suspensions with a very high sense of security. And this is how we make it. First we unravel our rope. Just as a measure of good culture we find both ends of the rope and we trace the rope to the middle, also called the bite. And this is how you do a single column tie using the Somerville ball line knot. We make one wrap around the limb two wraps. It is advisable to have two wraps, not more, not less, because if there are three, they are more difficult to even the tension between them. It's not impossible, but just more difficult. And if it's only one wrap, you have lesser surface area that causes pressure over the limb and this could harm, uh, harm a nerve or it can restrict the blood flow, neither of which is advisable, to say the least. After we have the two wraps, I intentionally stick out my fingers through the wraps because I'm using the long end to make a loop. I twist the long end of the rope around my fingers and it's very important to flip the bite over the other side so that the bite finds itself trapped in that loop, which I will tighten in a moment. Then we take the bite around all of the wraps and through the loop. And now we keep a little bit of tension on the bite so the whole construction doesn't collapse and we pull upwards the long end of the rope. We pull the bite, we pull the long end and this is our finished knot. So now we have a very compact knot that is very strong, it doesn't collapse under tension and it actually tightens a lot so be careful depending on what kind of rope you're using that you may, you may need a screwdriver to open it. You can make the Somerville ball line single column tie also with a quick release. So we begin making the tie the same way we did the last time. We make one wrap and then two wraps. But we leave a little bit longer bite because we will need that length to make something like a bow. And again we have the two wraps. We use the long end of the rope to twist it around the fingers and flip the bite on the other side. And as before, we take the bite around all of the wraps. But this time, instead of threading all of the bite through the loop that we made, we take it only halfway through. And now we will tighten the loop by pulling on the long end. It's very important to pull also on the bow, so we tighten the knot properly. This knot also won't collapse. Still, I would highly advise you not to use quick release single column ties for suspensions. A mistake that you could make is to thread a suspension line through the bow and as you tighten the suspension line, the knot will collapse. Otherwise, for semi-suspensions and ground bondage, it's a very practical knot that is very easy to open. You just put your finger through the bite, 
Then you pull.